Hello and welcome. In this video we will demonstrate how to create slides with reveal.js using Markdown and Pandoc in Visual Studio Code. To understand the full set of reveal.js features we recommend watching the demo on their website which is linked below. Let's start by looking at the make file. In the make file we define the build directory and the file name which corresponds to this and we define this command which downloads reveal.js from the github repository. Let's see how it works in the terminal. Let's navigate to the folder and use the command. And now it downloaded reveal.js into the build directory as seen here. Next, let's look at the command that creates the HTML slides. First it creates the build directory if it is not already created and then it uses pandoc to take the slides.markdown file and with these options it creates the HTML slides. Let's try it out and it created the HTML slides into the build directory. Let's see how the markdown file looks inside. First we define the front matter. We have the author, title, date and then we define subtitles and here we also have these div elements which have these fragments. We can open the slides in our preferred browser. Let's copy the path. I will open the Chrome browser and navigate to the HTML slides and I will show you what they look like. So we have the title, author, date, text, equation. These are the fragments, some source code, the table and the references. There are a few shortcomings to using Markdown with Pandoc to create reveal.js slides. For example, features such as using reveal.js highlighting will not work out of the box because Pandoc will use its own built-in highlighting instead. Uh, this is the reveal.js's highlighting. Uh, as you can see, you have the line numbers. You can also do animations like this and highlighting certain lines. Thanks for watching this demonstration. You can find links to all the software discussed in the video from the description. I hope the video was helpful and we'll see you next time.